All right, this is the Subaru we raced the other day. This is my Subaru Impreza. It's just a base model one, it's a 2011 model. And it's the one I raced at Pakenham Carn across recently. And it went well, but I've wanted a car that I can strip down and um, reduce a bit of weight out of and that sort of stuff. So picked this one up, which is a same model, 2011 Subaru Impreza hatchback, but this one's actually the RS. So it's got the prettier wheels and the nicer seats and that sort of stuff. And it's actually nicer than my daily driver, the white one, a little bit nicer. But the reason it's going to be a track only car is because of this. So the left hand side's a little banged up because the previous owner who looked after the car like crazy, he was T-boned and the car was written off and it's going to be, it'd be too much effort for anyone to put it back on the road. So therefore it's going to be a perfect little truck car. So it'd be a lot of fun and picked it up at seven o'clock this morning and now it's time to start pulling some weight out of it. Now you can see that inside here, I'm using the seat belt on this side as the door latch to hold the door closed. So I think when I pull all the weight out until I re replace the door, I'll leave this seat belt in there just purely as a latch to hold the door closed. So now you can see a bit clearer what's actually wrong with the door. So you got punched in the side there. The quarter's got a bit of a ding, but we'll straighten that. I thought the front door was worse than what it is, but I'll be able to knock that out. It's only a rally car anyway, so it's not gonna matter. And the front quarter, I reckon I'll be able to punch that out from the inside and the corner light, I don't really care about. And a couple little cosmetic bits and pieces, but don't really care about that. So let's have a look, open the door. So the door opens, you can see, had a bit of a punch in the side there. I reckon I'll bang that out from the inside and get it not looking not too bad. And a little bit of mark. So I just hope when we fit roll cage that uh, that doesn't interfere with any of the roll cage mounts, which we'll soon find out. So let's see what weight we can take out of the car. First up, a couple of tires. I don't need those. Okay, bag of crap. And we don't need any of this stuff in here. Got the spare wheel. Take the spare wheel out. So space safe. See how much that weighs. Just to say, save a wheel is saving us about 13 kilos. Now I gotta work out how to get these rear seats out. I assume I'll push that forward, that forward. Looks to me like those bolts there are under here. Uh, yes, the bolts are under there for the seat. So I'll get in there and rattle them out. This side rear seat base weighs 9.5 kilos. And this side rear seat base, the smaller one, weighs 5.9 kilos. Funnily enough, the whole seat base only weighs 5.9 kilos. Now I'm just gonna pull out all the isofix mounts for baby seats and the seat brackets and seat, seat belt bottoms and stuff. I was going to take all that out, but that's actually protecting fuel lines and whatnot. So I'll leave it there for now until I have someone who knows what they're doing a bit more than me. Um, give me, have a play with me. Now we'll pull some trims out of this thing and see if we can get to the airbag modules. So 
this is what I've pulled out today. It's been about a 30, 45 minute exercise. So these are all the bits and pieces that have come out today. Uh, seat belts and a heap of trim. You can see the car's already looking a lot different on the inside. So all the trims are out, seats are out, seat belts are out. Everything is looking a lot neater now. Next thing I'm going to attack is their airbag modules. So, um, yeah, all these airbags and that sort of stuff there. I'll attack those maybe tomorrow after I do some more work. So all the seat belts and bracketry associated with seat belts and the jack bits and other bits and pieces of garbage and a handful of bolts. Oh, just timed out, but that was nine and a half kilos. These foam bits and pieces, the inserts, the floor mats, and this rear trim bit, that weighs five and a half kilos. These trim bits were too hard to weigh, but I estimate they weigh about three and a half kilos. Okay, so with just what's been done today, I've taken about 50 odd kilos out of the car so far, so that's pretty good. Um, so next, as I said, will be the airbag modules, and then I'll start attacking in the front. So maybe next time I'll get the center console out and we'll pull the seats out and we'll um, put some race seats in and all the, the hood line, the roof lining and that sort of stuff and carpet. We'll get rid of all that and make it more like a race car ready for the next car to cross in three weeks time.